Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. I'm Marina and I'm here to help you look and feel your best. I've been posting mainly on TikTok and Instagram. I'm pretty new to YouTube, but I'm really excited about YouTube and I'm really focused on it right now. And I'm really excited about making this more of a thing. I love longer videos. I love being able to go more in depth on a specific topic. So if you're interested in all that stuff and you wanna stick around, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you don't wanna miss my new videos. I'm not good enough yet to post these consistently at like the same time every day, every week. So don't Definitely just put notifications on if you want to know when I'm posting a video because I can't promise you I'm going to post one consistently at the same time every week. Okay, I am so excited about this video because this is honestly kind of a dream come true. I don't even know if I can hold all this stuff at the same time. It's missing something. If you've been following me for a while, especially on other platforms, you know that I am a huge like no makeup makeup girl. I've consistently been using Glossier products for like five or six years at least because I felt like they were the first brand I found that really nailed the no makeup look. So Jones Road, when I first saw this brand on social media, I was so excited because it was like another brand doing that beautiful effortless easy no makeup look and their products are super different from anything I've ever tried, but they look insane. So I am so excited to try these. There is a new no makeup makeup brand on the block. So Jones Road gifted me all of these products, which is like crazy. Actually can't believe that happened. I reached out to them like super on a whim and definitely did not expect them to be willing to give me like one of everything that I asked for. And here they are. So. Thank you so, so much, Jones Road. This video is not sponsored, but again, everything is gifted. Okay, let's just get right in. So the things I'm gonna be trying are the What The Foundation, the face pencil, the bronzer, a miracle balm in Tawny, the lip tint, the mascara, and their everything brush and their bronzer brush. So I'm gonna start with just my usual skin prep. I do a vitamin C serum every morning. I've been using this one from Timeless for, I don't know, since like 20, 19 2020 i think i found this during the pandemic and have been using it since then in the fall and winter i like to add in some more moisturizing products to my routine as well in the summer i just go in with moisturizer right on top of that but right now i'm using this serum from dr jart and before you freak out i'm not touching the dropper to my skin i've also been using the kaika pear tiger grass cream this is just their regular moisturizer I have another whole video on the Dr. Jart Kaika Pear line, so uh, check that out if you're interested. I usually go in with something that has sunscreen as well. I'm not sure if this foundation does. It doesn't say, let me look it up. Just checked and I don't think the Jones Road what the foundation has any SPF in it, so I'm gonna go in with my L to MD UV Clear. This is just one of my go-to like everyday basic sunscreens. Um, I also feel like this should sit really nicely under makeup because it's really lightweight and um, dries down really naturally. It's not greasy. And I use this one a lot, so it'd be cool to see how it sits under the makeup anyway. Okay, I'm gonna give that a chance to dry for like 10 minutes and then I'll come back to do the makeup. All right, my skincare's dry, so let's get into the makeup. I'm gonna start with the What The Foundation. I got this in the shade beige. So this is supposed to be a moisturizing skin tint. I'm expecting it to be a little bit like the Glossier skin tint, but thicker and more like moisturizing. But I like that level of coverage, like super sheer and just kind of evening my skin tone, but not really like covering anything up. Here's what it looks like in the pot. Honestly, it looks like clay, but I've seen people use this and it seems like it really thins out when you put it on. I've seen some people get this and it come like super separated. I don't actually see any separation going on in mine, so I'm not gonna like stir it up or anything. I don't know if you can see, but it has some spots on the top that are sort of like crystallized and dry. So I'm gonna try to just like scrape that off. I don't know why that happened. I'm gonna try to take a scoop with my finger that doesn't have any of that like dried out part. With like that much, that's about how much moisturizer I use. So I'm hoping that is the right amount. I'm gonna start applying this on my face. Wow, that is so interesting. It actually just feels like a like, almost like a night cream, like a really rich moisturizer. It does not feel like any makeup I've ever put on though. Like it doesn't feel like foundation at all. And I do actually feel like it's evening my skin tone a little bit and sort of blending out some of that redness that I have. I'm gonna do like a tiny bit right here where I have redness as well. 
So Jones Road in their marketing, I feel like really targets um, people with more mature skin because these products apply really well on drier skin. So I was really excited to try this on my less mature skin and see um, how it does on like a different skin type because I haven't really seen it on many people with younger skin. And I don't know if it's gonna look as good or if it's just gonna look super greasy on me. I get that on my eyelashes. How did I even do that? Okay, so aside from these little like dry pieces that happened in the jar for some reason, I'm actually really happy with this. It feels weirdly good. Like my skin feels very soothed and hydrated. I got absolutely no pilling. Um, or streaks or anything. It looks really, really natural. Like it actually looks like there's nothing on my skin. If you have super oily skin, this is not gonna be the foundation for you because it's like literally a moisturizer. I don't think you have to have dry skin to like this product. I wouldn't say that I have dry skin. I have pretty normal to even like slightly oily skin. And I'm really, really happy with this. Like I'm definitely gonna be using this regularly. Also the shade beige I think was perfect for me. I have sort of like a neutral to yellow warm undertone. It's also so sheer. I wouldn't worry about the shade that much. If you go like a shade too light or a shade too dark, I don't think you're gonna notice. This does have a slight fragrance. So if you avoid fragrance, just watch out for that. Okay, up next is the face pencil. I'm really interested in these because I have never seen anything like this. Actually, I take that back. It's kind of similar to like a face stick, like a concealer stick or something, but it's cool that it's a pencil. Um, so I have the shades 12 and 14. Here's the pencil in shade 12. And here's shade 14, which looks a little darker. These are also just so cute. Like I am a sucker for good packaging and these are very my style. Okay, I accidentally just bent this one on the lid, but you can see shade 12 is a little more of like a peachy color and 14 is a little more yellow. So since shade 12 is a little more of like peachy looking to me, I'm gonna try this one um, in my dark circles right here. My dark circles are not very bad, but I'm just gonna draw it right on my face and then just tap it out with my finger. That's actually really nice. Wow, I really like this. The texture of this is so creamy, but not greasy. Wow, that was crazy. I was not expecting to like this so much. I'm gonna try shade 14 um, to cover up some of my redness here. And I'm just drawing like light little strokes like that and then I'm gonna blend it out and I'm just using this one where I know I have redness like on my blemishes right there I'll do a little on my chin um, and a little right here this is where I would normally conceal I'm hoping you guys can see this blending out but it just taps out super nicely I also love that all these products are designed to be like usable with your hands because I just love using my hands. I feel like it gives you the most natural looking, like most skin-like finish. I don't like using tools that much. I just love products I can apply with my fingers. I'm shocked at how easy this blends out. I was kind of worried with a pencil formula that it wasn't gonna be this easy to blend, but it really just like melted right into my face. And it definitely is covering up my redness right here a bit. Like, do you see that? Like this was the perfect add-on to the foundation because this actually does give you like a little bit of coverage. I would definitely still consider this light coverage to like medium at best, but that's what I'm going for. Like I'm not really into full coverage most of the time. I'm gonna put a little bit right here too. Yeah, I'm actually obsessed with this. Okay, before I say this, I would like to remind you that this video is not sponsored. I did not sign a contract or anything. I didn't even have to make this video at all. I think these might be the best concealer I've ever used for what I'm looking for. It just looks so natural. Like, how does it look like there's nothing on my skin? Okay, wow. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm feeling weird that there's just nothing on my lips. So I'm going to skip to the lip tint. And they picked this shade for me. It's Nude Rose. Again, the cutest packaging. Okay, here it is. Oh, actually, I might like this color. Let's try it on my hand. Ooh, 
it's so smooth like it's like super soft it feels like velvety almost yeah it's not sticky at all it's like just like a wash of color i haven't used this before so i don't know how i'm gonna like to apply it the most with lipsticks i usually just kind of tap them in like this for like a wash of color i am getting a little bit of color payoff from doing that but let's see if i actually just do like a swipe Okay, wow. Very buildable. I was expecting a little more of like a glossy finish just because their other products are also dewy. It still feels hydrating. I don't feel like it's really like settling in my dry patches or getting patchy or anything. I wish it had a little bit glossier of a finish, but I'm just a lip gloss girl. I love the color though. I think it's actually really flattering on me. And if you like more of a natural finish lip, you're gonna love this. I love it too. I just think I would put a little gloss on top. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna try is the bronzer. From what I've seen, this has like rave reviews. Like people love this bronzer. I actually haven't used a powder bronzer in a really long time. I've just been using cream ones. I've been wanting to try powder bronzer because sometimes I like having something that's not super dewy on my face just to balance it out so that I don't end up looking like super greasy. And this is in the shade tan. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I think this is gonna be a great shade for me. I'm also super into this brush. Like that's just beautiful. It's so soft, super light and fluffy. I feel like this is actually gonna be like the perfect brush for this bronzer. People say this is a very finely milled, like soft bronzer. Um, so I think a lighter, like fluffier brush like this is perfect. I'm gonna just tap it at first. Ooh, okay, yeah, definitely very finely milled. I'm getting a lot of like fallout. I'm gonna shake it off a little. So I always start really light with new bronzers because I don't know how much payoff there's gonna be and I don't wanna look muddy. Um, so I'm gonna start by just tapping it on a little bit and then like, I can always add more. It just got so bright. The sun just came out and it got so bright. I feel like all of the Jones Rose models always just look so perfectly like sun-kissed and bronze. I really like this brush. Okay, that did go on a little patchy. Like I feel like it's stuck to the foundation a little bit right here. So this definitely does stick to the foundation a lot. Um, so I would just shake out or like tap off the brush before putting it on your face. Just gonna sweep the extra on my nose. So other than the fact that it got like a little patchy around here and sort of stuck to the foundation, I really love this. I think if you just use a little bit of a setting powder or like a loose powder on your face and then went in with this, it would be perfect. I love how finely milled it is. It's super soft. It's a very soft, like sun-kissed look. Honestly, I really think it's this brush that is the star of the show. Like, I think this brush would be great with any powdered product. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Miracle Balm now. So I feel like this is the like famous Jones Road product that everybody knows and talks about. I really don't think there is anything else like this on the market. I have tried their Miracle Balms before in two other shades. So I'm really excited to try this one because this is the one that I think is gonna be the best shade for my skin tone. So this is the shade Tawny. It's like a really warm sort of like burnt reddish brown. It looks really scary at first. These go on very sheer and then are kind of like buildable. So I've seen them say there are like a million different ways you can use this product. You can put it all over your whole face. It's just kind of like a really sheer dewy wash of color. Um, you can use it as a blush. You can use it as a bronzer. You can use it to just kind of like highlight and add a little bit of glow to certain places. I obviously got this color intending it to be sort of a blush. You can also put it on your lips. Um, maybe I'll try laying it on top of the lip tint and see how that goes. The thing about these is you have to like break into them before you can really get to the color. So I just shove my finger in there and to not waste any, obviously I'll like use all of this too. I know it looks crazy, but that's kind of the fun. Like I said, I love products you can apply with your fingers. I'm gonna try it with my fingers on one side and then with the brush on the other side. Got a little bit on my fingers and I'm just gonna sort of like tap it onto my skin where I would put blush. I think that looks so pretty. Definitely a very dewy finish. These are also a little bit scented or something. Like they definitely have a bit of a fragrance, um, but I don't think it's like overpowering. I just think this is such a cool product. Like you could literally use this for anything. This is their everything brush. 
And so I'm just gonna rub this around in here a little bit and then try applying it with the brush. I feel like I'm gonna get a little more pigment doing it this way. So I'm gonna start really lightly and just sort of tap it in. It goes on really nicely with the brush too. Like you can get a more targeted application this way for sure. It's cool that you can use your hands with all their products, but you don't like have to use your hands. I don't know why I always bring my blush up here too, but I really kind of just go right over my bronzer. And I actually kind of like the side where I use the brush better. I feel like it just looks a little softer on this side and a little more like um, dewy on this side. I'm gonna tap out this side with the brush too. Okay, the last thing I have to show you guys is the mascara. I actually don't really know anything about this one because I have fake lashes, but this is a cute little tube. I don't even know what the wand looks like. Oh, cool. Okay, it's a curved wand. When I don't have lash extensions, I love a curved wand. It's pretty big and like fluffy. So I'm just gonna do my bottom lashes to show you guys what it looks like. I feel like the light just got a little better. I feel like it looks like a very natural, like matte black kind of color. Oh, I totally forgot I was going to try this on my lips um, as well. So I'm going to do that for you guys. I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to tap it on and kind of see what it does. I honestly can't really tell if that's doing anything. It feels good. It definitely added a little bit more shine though, which is what I like. Okay, so here's the final look. Every single thing that I used except my brow gel was from Jones Road. So this is a full face of Jones Road products. Here's up close. This looks so good. This is exactly how I like my makeup to look. I would actually do this look like every day on my own. I love the dewiness. I love how my skin just looks like perfectly even. Um, and hydrated but still like skin nothing is cakey i think i just went in a little too heavy with the bronzer on my forehead and like i said it stuck to the foundation a little but other than that every single thing in here i think is perfect the only thing i would change about this is i think i would have powdered my forehead a little bit before putting on the powder bronzer So my surprise favorite was definitely the face pencil. I will probably use these like every time I do my makeup from now on. For concealing and correcting, we're just five stars, 10 out of 10, perfect. If I had to pick one thing in here that I wouldn't buy, it would probably be the lip tint just because it really is just a lip tint. And I like a much glossier, dewier finish, which I think I could get from the Miracle Balm. I also think they might have lip glosses. But if you just like a lip tint with a very natural like skin like finish on your lips you actually would love this let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see any of these products in particular more in depth i'm happy to make another video thank you so much again to jones road for gifting me all of these if you like this video and you want to see more don't forget to like and subscribe that's gonna be it thank you guys for watching bye